Alright everybody, I'm back once again, and in this video we're going to be playing Stripes, which is a fairly interesting level, where you have to go through a maze that's made up of invisible walls, and I believe we missed, there you go, missed our entrance to the next Stripe right here. So yeah, basically this maze is consisted of a bunch, or consists of a bunch of Stripes that are represented, or divided by these invisible walls. The good news is that you can have all these walls here for reference, which is really nice, and that leads us to another one, so I want to tackle this one first, though. So let me go and do that. Or wait, this was the one I came from, right? Okay, I'm going to try to just watch out four entrances to the next stripes. Okay, so this, I believe, is a dead end. Okay, so yeah, let's go in here like this. There's one up here, I thought. Wait a second, guys. Where's the entrance to the next stripe? It's got to be here somewhere, folks. Got to be here somewhere. Was it in the previous one? It might be in the previous one. Because that was a complete dead end as far as I could tell. Ah, here we go. Okay, good. Okay, so this is the next stripe. And the exit to this level is in the um, the lower left, I believe. If I, if I remember right... I, my memory of this level is a little fuzzy, but I believe the exit is in the lower left. And um, I'm going to try to proceed there in a rather systematic way, or should I say in a more efficient way. Because I want to make sure I don't waste any opportunities to get chips and miss stuff here. Okay, so this is another entrance to another stripe, so I'll keep that in mind. But I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Yeah, so I'm just going to go back over there. Around this wall, I believe. Here we go. All right, good. We're doing okay, folks. I'm just trying to bump into the walls just so I can get a little bit of an idea. First of all, before I go forward, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. So yeah, I'm bumping into the walls just so I have an idea of where the breaks and the stripes are. Ah, here's another one here. Is this a dead end or not? Okay, this appears to be a dead end. Okay. Yeah, because there's nothing else we can do here as far as I can tell. So let's go ahead and go back to where we were. Over here like this. Okay, so at least we took care of that and we didn't miss that. Because if you miss a chip on this level, it could be pretty bad. So just trying to concentrate here. I like how, for the most part, the walls of this level that are visible are spaced apart in a nice, orderly way. It kind of gives this level a nice, polished, organized look. Okay, is that ship accessible? No? Okay. Is this where we came from? So this is the problem with this level. You lose track of which stripes you were on. Okay, so this level... Okay, this way... Okay, this leads here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, folks, we're doing okay. And this leads up here? Aw, oh, it doesn't lead up there. So where do we go to get to the next stripe? Did we miss something? We appear to have missed something here. All right, we can't get anywhere else from here. Maybe there's another way to get to that ship. It looks like we have to get, from it, get to it from the left, though, so... Oh, come on, JV. Did you miss something here? Ah, here we go. Here's what we missed. We missed the other path that led down here. Alright, so we can just go down here like this. I'm going to not go to that stripe yet. I want to see if there's anything else here. Wait, is this where we came from? I keep asking that. <laughs> okay, alright. Here we go. Let's try going to this one. Get a chip there. This is going fairly well. We're doing okay. Alright, that leads to another one. Okay, that's 13 chips left. Let's see if there's another stripe down here that leads to a dead end, because that seems like a long path. See, I get kind of a little suspicious when there are long paths like that, just because they might lead... Or wait a second, that is the path. Okay, never mind. That's the only other place we could have gone, so we just wasted some time. All right, so let's go back on here like this. 
Okay, I believe we can get to a stripe up there that will get us to those two chips we just saw. Hmm. Very interesting. Can we go down here? Come on, this has got to lead us to a chip, right? How do we get to that? There's got to be a way to get to that one. Wait, here we go. I think I got it. You know, I actually like this level a lot more than I did when I was a little kid. I guess because there is some logic involved in solving this. Whereas a little kid, I just kind of bumped around and hoped that I would run into the right spaces and everything. I mean, I kind of got the whole stripe thing down, but it was just kind of a little funny to me. Like, I, I didn't really realize where the brakes were. I didn't really try to figure that out. I just kind of bumped around as best I could. So yeah, it really wasn't exactly the most efficient way to solve this. And right now I know that I'm probably not exactly doing this in the most efficient way either. But I'm hoping maybe... Did I miss something up there? It looks like I did because I can't get to those two ships from this stripe, which ends right here. So there has to be something else that I missed earlier on. Oh, I was afraid this was going to happen. Hmm. Well, at this point in the LP, I guess it's a pretty fair uh, time to go ahead and ask you guys what you guys might want to see in future LP projects. Because I am going to try to start some new LP. Ah, here we go. I'm going to try to start some new LPs here after this. I've got an idea for one in particular. Um, I'm not going to mention what it is yet because I want it to be a bit of a surprise, for at least for most people. But um, I wanted to ask you guys what you guys might want to see in other LPs in the future, just because I am open to doing um, doing most stuff, mostly classic games, um, because new games will probably eat up my virtual PC and won't be able to exactly run on it. And we just got stuck again, didn't we? All right, hang on, guys. Here we go. Yeah, the next game I'm playing to LP is a little bit different. It involves puzzles, but not exactly of the Chips Challenge kind of variety. It's a little bit different. Alright, I think this was the path that led us back to where we originally came from, which was over here. And we can now proceed into this area. Alright, so let's go... This was a this was a dead end? Aww. Okay, here we go. This is a... This is an open path, right? Okay, so let's just go down here. It's our best bet for now, at least. Okay, and this leads us... Where? The... Up here? Did we already go here earlier? I... Maybe that's just a dead end for dead end's sake. You gotta love those kinds of dead ends, right? Hmm... Six chips left, and this appears to be a complete dead end. So I'm going to go back this way. Wait, is it a complete dead end? Or is this the way we originally came from? Oh, I can't think. I can't think. Let's go over here. Here we go. Okay, five. All right, this is going a little bit better. That's another stripe, so we'll come back there in a minute, but I want to explore this one. Kind of a rule of thumb I'm trying to stick to is fully explore one area before you go to another one. And I'm sorry this video can't be a little more interesting. I know that this is kind of a little bit boring to watch. But I figured this was a good level to try going through blind, just because you can't really die in this level, so... I mean, there's no monsters, there's no bombs or fire or water, there's no time limit, so you can't really die. And I can see two of the three... Okay, here we go, here's all three of the chips. Now, how to get to that one, we can go here, like that. Okay, good, we're getting close. Now we just have to get the next two. Alright, next one. Yes, alright, we made it. We can get to the exit. All right, we made it. We survived stripes, and we can now proceed to fireflies. 
Burn the land, boil the sea. You can't take the sky from me. Okay, wrong Firefly. And I'm pretty sure I just butchered that entire tune. Was it burn the land, boil... I forgot. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. And yes, I did promise you guys I wouldn't sing anymore. Oh, I keep breaking the promise. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go through here. This level is basically symmetrical. Um, on all four sides, even. And I believe there's a fireball. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I didn't watch out for that one. Okay. So yeah, this level, it's it has a, it has four different sections, and they're all basically the same. Except for the, the starting point and the exit, all four sections are basically identical, just rotated. So just go through and collect all the chips like this. The only problem that you've got to watch out for is just where the fireballs are going. There's a level in CCLP2 that's kind of based on the same concept, except it's kind of a little more difficult to see where the fireball's path is. And did I just... oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Okay, I was wondering when those two guys were going to come around. Alright, so let's just be very careful and proceed there. When we get to the exit area, I'm going to turn around and go through the rest of the level in a clockwise fashion. That way we can save some time. Because no matter how you solve this level, there's going to be a, a spot where you either have to turn around or go through the entire area all over again. Okay, careful. Good, good, good. But I just love how this level has these different paths for you and the fireball. And you don't really think about the fireball's path just because you're trying to concentrate on your own path. So it's an interesting kind of psychology that goes into designing a level like this. And playing it, too. Alright, so we're almost down to 16. I believe there's going to be one coming... Okay, I guess not. I thought there was usually a fireball that comes through there in the middle of those two after they come through. Alright, so we made it to the exit area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and go back through the entire level to the starting point. That way we can go through in a clockwise fashion all the way back to the exits. And if we can do that, we should be okay. Okay, that's a dead end, right? Yep. And my controls are getting kind of sticky again, so I'm trying to watch out. Now, the nice thing about going through this level clockwise is, of course, the fireballs are going through clockwise. So that makes it a little bit less hazardous. I mean, it's still pretty dangerous, but at least it doesn't make it quite as treacherous as you originally would have to do it if you went through the entire thing counterclockwise. Alright, I figured I might as well take care of that part first the counterclockwise part just because it's the most dangerous and I didn't want to die at the very end of the level. Now one thing I should mention about this level is that it is actually the last quote-unquote official level of the game, but there are hidden levels to this game. Of course if you've been keeping up with our passwords you'd know this because JHEN, which is the third cipher password, is a password we have not seen yet. So it obviously is the password to some level that comes after this one. Alright everybody, it's actually been several hours since I spoke that last sentence. I had to pause the recording for quite a while, but I am back, and what I was saying about passwords, what was that? Alright, oh, JHEN, that's the password that you would use to get to the level that would have been after this one in Lynx. But it's actually not, uh, because there is an extra level that got inserted in this Microsoft version of the game uh, that poses as level 145. It's a credits level, and we will be going there next time. After we finish this, that is. Hmm. But anyhow, there's really no way you can figure out how to get there unless you uh, use the ignore passwords option or you just cheat. Which is what I did. I just used the ignore passwords thing because I accidentally discovered it as a kid. It's control K, I believe. And there's another way to do it, but I forgot how. Alright, and we'll exit. And that, actually, we do have time to get to the next level, I believe. After we see Chip's little victory thing here. Well, actually, wait. We have to watch this first. So maybe we'll save the 
credits level for the next video. Yeah, we'll do that. Great job, Chip. You did it. You finished the challenge. All right. Melinda herself offers Chip membership in the exclusive Bitbusters Computer Club and gives him access to the club's computer system. Chip is in heaven. Well, I guess he is if that uh, bright yellow light is an indication. And he's also in 3D, too. Cool. And this just tells you how many levels you completed and whatnot. Anyway, we are done with that and we will continue in the next video.